Hi everybody, this is JR2576 for another video. This video I wanted to show you how I created my scorpion. Uh, I've actually had a couple people ask me about it because he has multi limbs. So he has four legs on each side, two claws, and then his body. So what I did was I turned on grid, turned upright, and I created him just like you would a puppet. So I go to make a basic shape. I'm going to pick stamp. I change the color to blue just like a puppet. Start with a circle. And make sure mirror mode is on. So you want this to be, say, head uh, also side note when you're doing this whatever position you're facing is the position of the mirror so if I was to make the scope looking this way it puts the mirror that way I don't want it that way I want it other way to line up with my first shape like that so what this does is when I sculpt on him this side will imitate well this side will imitate this side as I sculpt on this side just like it does on the puppet so now I want to do another piece like that and then I can make make it longer like so and then I want another shape Stretch that out. So that's pretty much how I did the body. So the head, uh, you can do a neck. I chose just not to do it on this part. I did do it on my scorpion though. Uh, his chest, his belly pelvis, head, chest, his uh, belly is actually in here, and then his, of course, uh, his pelvis. Now what I also did was his arms, do it again, take a shape. Now, uh, when it comes to the limbs, I shut off mirror mode, unless your, in, uh, your limbs are going to be different, you might want it on. Uh, I did not, because it doesn't imitate um, on both sides like you think. So you want to make sure mirror mode is off. Okay. Put that like that. 
So what I meant by with the mirror mode, it doesn't put here and here. Uh, you need them to be different pieces when you do uh, a puppet. So what I can do though, is this. So, There it is, just like a regular puppet. Now what I did is I went uh, so the next part would be connect this because you want each piece to be able to move just like a puppet. So now if you actually look at the puppet the yellow is the parent, the blue is the child, and as long as you rig it up, just like you would, like you see here as the puppet, I'll show you. So, parent, the child, parent, the child. That's how they're all connected. Make sure all your connectors are in the middle. So sometimes you have to adjust it. So it's in the middle. Do that for all the connectors. So now you're going to bring in a puppet. Doesn't matter which one. I'm going to use the deluxe. I'm going to shut off the connectors. Like so. I select everything. And I take him. Once the puppet is white outlined, I can scope my creation into the puppet. Like so. Then I can delete the puppet. Place my creation on top of the puppet pad or the puppet heart. Like so. Then what I did, open up.
open up this screen this week you want to make sure before you do that you want to make sure when you have all the pieces selected collidable is off tab in this tab it shows you the parts so the head so if I click on this it gives me an orange line I put that on the head I didn't do a neck uh, the chest chest belly pelvis I did the arms with the, with the claws The legs, I did the back legs. Like I said, you could do yours differently. Um, this is just how I did mine. So it's all connected now, and it knows. But when I push play, it does that. So what I had to do was go into these pieces. Four legs. Now with those four legs, because they're attached to here and here, I had to turn these two and the four legs. Go on the tooth menu. Non-movable. So now when I play, they don't crash in. Alright. Also in here, you have shut off procedural animation and procedural walk because now that you have more limbs, it doesn't work properly. So you have to shut them off and animate them on your own. Just show you on this guy. Uh, still have the puppet logic and what I did on him is the motion sensor I got rid of you can still leave the jump it will still work um, the possession and depossession spawning all that stuff you can leave if you choose to I grabbed a timeline set to loop I put the keyframe and I animated his legs. Now, because I copy cloned the legs, I keep Puppet Mirror off. Because what happens if Puppet Mirror is on and I move, say, this leg, it actually does, see, it affects this leg because I cloned them and then I flipped them. So I keep Puppet Mirror off unless you do each limb independently, then you could put the Puppet Mirror on, but I'm, I'm sure it still won't work properly. Uh, that's why I just leave it off. So let's see. And because even though I set this to non-movable, they still move for when you want to animate. these up like so and we'll do it like this uh, I like to set up my keyframe with the blend then what I do is I clone it so when I go into this one it shows me 
how the animations are for the first keyframe. So now I know this one was up on the previous keyframe and these were not animated. So I want to deanimate that and I'm going to move this one up and this one up. And then on this side, I know that this and this is up. So I want to deanimate those and I'm going to move this one up instead. And then what makes it easier is I can just keep cloning. So I can put this after and this one. And this one. Or you can go like that. Alright, so that's going to be his walking animation. I also grabbed an and gate. And this is so when I push on the left stick to walk and my character is on the ground, it will do the animation. Now the animations won't be 100% because I never centered the connectors. Like I said, the animation works, it's just the limbs don't move properly because I never centered the connectors. That's why it's important to set the connectors. But that's how he works. Also, when you're in the puppet, The collision zones are still there. You can mess with those uh, to send them around your character, depending on what type of character you have. And that's pretty much how I made my scorpion. This is the walking. So that's the end gate. This is just extra stuff I added in because I have the walk animation. I have the sounds for the walking. Um, if you're wondering why I have two footsteps, it's because he has multiple legs. So I have it set up so it sounds like multiple legs are hitting the ground because they're timed just a little differently. These are my random animations for idle, with left claws clicking, and um, the pinchers, so the pinchers and his claws, and since we're in here, so I made animations for the right claw, just want to show you, that does that, and I also did the left claw, I did the pinchers. Now, something that I don't think a lot of people know. So on the claws up, he does this when you push the button.
So to make things easier for me, I set up the keyframe here of his hands tilting up, upwards. Right, and this is the right claw, the left claw, and the pincher animation. So what I literally did was just clone this, this, and this, and then put it onto the timeline, because the timeline can still work within a timeline. So it saved me the time of actually animating these again, just by cloning these and bringing them in and then adjusting them to the size and stuff like that for the duration that I wanted them to play at. That's my scorpion. That's how I created him. Uh, after I was done setting him up as a puppet, then I actually went in and started sculpting. And like I said, when you sculpt and you have mirror mode set on, whatever I do on one side imitates on the other side. So when I did the scorpion, that's exactly how it was. Yeah, see, I had the mirror down the middle, so I sculpted this side, which gave me this side. And I did that with the body as well, and so on. Uh, the only time it's different is on the appendages. Because if I, I mean, if I had the mirror mode on, see, it, that's just the way... It worked out for this one, so that's why I don't do the mirror mode on the lens. I'll just sculpt it. And I sculpt it right onto this. Just like that's how I've done all my other puppets. I've never actually created a part and then brought it over and then you sculpt it in and attach it. I've never done that. I, I like it when it mirrors a lot of the time. So that way I just build right on to the sculpture. It cuts down a lot of time when you're doing sculpting if it actually mirrors. When you're all done, then you can do it independently so it doesn't mirror. So that way it's not always symmetrical. It's always different. Uh, I actually kind of did that with... Uh, what did I, do that with? I did that with a couple pieces on here. Just to make them a little... Especially with the spray painting and stuff. I think it was mostly like the body and stuff. And that's pretty much how I did my scorpion. I hope that helps everybody understand how to make a multi leg character. Uh, if you have any more questions, you can reach out to me and uh, I can help you the best I can. Um, that's it. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.